Do you remember a video that I did a while ago on a game that I quoted by saying was a good concept and a really, really polished looking game that lacked content? Yes, that game, guys, was called Driving Simulator, and we're actually in that today, taking a look at it once again as it has just entered its open beta stage. Guys, I'm really, really excited about today's video because this game has made some leaps and bounds from where it was previously, and apparently there is quite an audience around us right now. This might make for a little bit of a difficult video recording session, so I might need to go and, uh find a better place for this. Okay, I finally got a moment of some peace and quiet here. I have to be honest with you, this is a little bit annoying. I spent the last maybe five minutes trying to get some space here, but here we are in Driving Simulator Beta. Like I said, I've spent the first five minutes just trying to run away from people, but pretty much I already saw a lot of really, really impressive things. I got to drive this car here because this is actually my first car. I think I got this car for free in the alpha phase or something. I don't really know exactly how I I got this but this is apparently a car in my garage so that's pretty cool now last time we played this I think most of the graphics were the same and the car handling was the same but I think one of the things was the map felt extremely empty that clearly isn't a problem anymore <laughs> as you can see there is a boatload of people everywhere I mean look this is where I spawned look how many people are in the spawn right now I don't know how many people are playing this game, I didn't check, I'll put it on the screen now though, but this game has a huge, huge amount of following right now, and I hope it stays this way, because honestly, just seeing any new car game do this well makes me happy. It doesn't matter if it's from what developer or whatever, it's just really nice to see another game that competes at the top level with games like Vehicle Simulator and stuff like that. This is just really cool to me. Now we can go ahead and do a quick run through of what this game offers, at least at a surface level. The first thing here of course is a garage. I have to say it's a very smooth feeling like everything looks super triple-a title and everything. You can currently customize three different options. You have primary paint, secondary paint, and rims. Uh, let's see what we got in rims. There's apparently looks like a game pass for more colors. I don't think we need that. We can just put on some black rims like this, that's kind of cool. Other than that, you have secondary colors that you can change here, like we can make this a little bit more black, I'll do that because it looks cool as well. And uh, then of course you have all of the cars, which as you can see here, there is a lot of them. Now this is one thing I actually really like, I don't know why, I think this is just the first time I've seen it, but this is a featured list. So these are the four cars that they're featuring right now, of course some very iconic cars. The McLaren F1, the Dodge Viper, an old Aston Martin. DB5 and of course this looks like a game pass item once you purchase the VIP game pass I'm sure this comes included which is kind of cool as well and then of course they categorize all the cars based on their like actual class so first we have hypercars which of course are going to include things like the Conan segs and Bugattis next up supercars that are mostly McLarens Porsches Lambos that sort of type thing and then we have sports cars of course this is gonna be the muscle car genre with obviously Dodge Challengers Mustangs Camaros that sort of deal and of course or some Teslas as well. Clearly you can see the variety here is abundant which is awesome. That's really really cool for car games to start with. This is freaking awesome by the way. They have a Tesla Cybertruck. Only 70,000. This is actually awesome. I like that. Another thing that is really nice is you can see the stats of the car you want to purchase all right here. This is just really really simple and well done. I can't complain at all. This is really really good and uh, they kind of hide the look of the car in all black so you can't see what it is until you buy it. That's that's just that's just a cool touch I don't know man this game has this game has like every base covered in my opinion it's so smooth it's so like refined I don't know this is just really really cool and if you didn't notice at the beginning of this video when I uh, kind of got over here it was raining and thunderstorming which is something I've never really seen in another racing game and sure yeah there is rain in other games and stuff like that but this was like dynamic rain and thunder and all sorts of stuff and it sounded really really polished so as far as like an immersive experience goes driving simulator is probably up there with some of the best I have to say because this is really really immersive something about the perspective the size of the buildings that are around you and just the general feel of the game it, it feels really 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 professional like the team behind this game clearly knows what they're doing you can see it in the way this game is refined things like the way the graphics are designed the UI and all of that it's very smooth and it complements each other really really well we also have a shop here which we can take a look what they sell so of course cash that's not a big deal and then moving over to upgrades 
We have VIP, which you earn a little bit more money. You get that uh, that exclusive Hummer. You get unique chat color, 50,000 credits. Radio, and then all the paint, which is actually not a lot of game passes. So this is pretty cool. I mean, hey, you honestly, I can't find a single thing I don't like about this game. It's actually really, really nice. Now, this is a big uh, selling point here. We have races, and not just one or two of them. If we take a look on the map, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think seven. I think at least seven, unless I'm not counting one somewhere, but yeah, at least seven different races just in beta. Like, as soon as this game's come out, seven races. That's that's amazing, honestly. Now, I would do one, but it doesn't look like anybody really visits this area. I mean, as you can see, it looks like this is the popular racetrack, and then maybe, like, this one over here, and maybe that one as well, but the one I'm currently at isn't necessarily the popular one, so let's go find a place where we can start a race, okay? All right, actually, you know what? I was gonna do, like, some jump cuts around everywhere, but let's just do some like general driving because as you can see like the, the way these cars drive and move is very very smooth and I don't know man I can't really compare this to any other game it's weird because they call this game a simulator and when you think of that you think like oh this game's gonna be like vehicle simulator or this game's gonna be like another game that I've played well honestly no this is actually really unique. As you can see, just by the graphics and design, they kind of go for a more cartoonish look with obviously not a super, super in-depth focus on like car models and stuff like that. Like clearly you can tell this is a Ferrari. There's no doubt about it, but they don't stretch it so that it's like overly realistic. They kind of keep that theme to it where it feels more like it's a Roblox game, but a really, really good Roblox game, if that makes sense. This is one of the things I also really like. Areas that you can kind of just pull into that like you don't normally see on the map. Map, and then you come up to it and you're like, hey, I can actually explore this. This is one of those things that I really, really like about these games. Apparently, other people have told me that the drifting is really good in this as well, so I guess we can kind of give that a try. I mean, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing just yet, but... Yeah, it feels really good. It feels about as good as everything else in this game so far. So I kind of just wanted to come to the top of this parking garage just to get a good view of the whole like town or city. Uh, let's see if we can see it. Oh, look at this. There's ramps everywhere too that you can kind of go off of. And, uh, oh god, don't go too far. Okay, yeah. Wow, this is huge. Man, this map is just so well laid out. Everything feels like it's, everything feels so like big, I guess is the way I want to phrase it. Like I feel so small in this city right here. I feel like I could go so many places and see things that I would not normally see. This is huge. This is really, really huge. Just for Roblox in general. Right, okay, let's uh actually you know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna jump off the edge. Alright, let's go here. Yeah, I, I figured nothing was really gonna happen. Let's go into the car and uh yeah, let's go compete in a race. Also, I wanna see what's up here, because I don't know about you guys, but in every single like racing game that I play, I always like the northern area. Is that a weird thing or is that just me? Because in the north, there's always a lot of roads like these that are windy, and typically when it comes to racing racing games going north means you're going towards the mountains and I always just like mountain views and stuff like that so I don't know if it's just me but let me know do you guys when you play racing games do you normally tend to go north to do most of your driving like drifting and gaining XP in races because that's kind of my thing I like I like going up there because I find the best races and stuff there uh, one thing I'm having a weird time with is like the camera angle it's it's unlocked permanently unless there's another way to change that but it looks unlocked to me and I have a hard time getting out of the habit of uh, of doing this when I go around corners and it actually sucks it's re it's better to just let the camera camera do its own thing but yeah I don't know other than that I mean take a look at how the driving is we're going like 200 kilometers an hour and let me show you how quick we can go around some of these bends here like <laughs> these bends are either the roads are just huge or the cars handle like ungodly well because it feels like we're going around some of these bends look how fast I'm going around this bend you ready look at this like nothing I'm going around I'm driving at almost 300 kilometers an hour pretty much not even phased about it like 200 kilometers around this corner I don't know about that necessarily being realistic but I don't but again I really don't think the developers goal of this game was to make it realistic so you can't really judge the game for something that I think they're not really focused on like the driving obviously feels a little bit like floaty and feels a little bit less responsive than other games but overall 
It's called Driving Simulator, and I could see myself driving around here for a solid amount of time before getting bored. Like, the, the map is just massive, the cars are just really, really nice to drive, and not really punishing. I think maybe that's what it is. Like, the cars aren't very punishing. Like, you can, you can screw up, and the car is like, it's okay, man, I got you. You don't need to worry. You can go 260 kilometers around this corner. Don't even think twice about it. Look at this bend, right? Look how fast you can go around it. It's a serious 180 bend, and I just went around it at 200 kilometers an hour like it was nothing. You also have nitrous here, and uh, look at this. <laughs> that was sick! Those billboards just smashed like that. That was cool. I wonder if doing certain things like that nets you more money. Now, if I had to give a general opinion on this game, I think, I think it's great. I think they could cater to the audience more by giving a small tutorial maybe, like telling the players like how you can earn extra money, the focus of the game, where to buy cars, where to customize, points of interest, you know, general things like that that help the community learn what's going on, that could help. But overall, like what the, look, I mean, look at the lights, dude. The lights have this like glow to them when you hit a certain speed. I don't know, it's what you can say about this game 100% is they have taken a serious focus on the little things and uh, made the small details feel really, really good. So this is a, an amazing game, guys, honestly. Okay, I think since we're up here, I think we're gonna go to that race. It looks super busy always. So let's go over there and see if we can race some people. But yeah, as you can see, look at this, 300 kilometers an hour. I'm just driving. I don't get punished at all for it. I can go as fast as I want to. Oh, do I want to turn? Okay. Turns. I'm fine. Continues driving. It's not a big deal. So like obviously vehicle simulator might be considered the harder game than driving simulator, but I think as far as just a relaxing, cool experience goes, this is pretty freaking awesome, man. Also, is the track supposed to be here or somewhere else? Cause, um... I don't think it's over here. I don't see it. Right, that's okay. We're gonna go back into town anyways, and maybe I'll go do one of the races down here, because I kind of want to go back to the town. Dude, I also want to take a look at this seriously cool bridge. Holy. Wow, this is, like, the scale of this map is huge. It makes Jailbreak's map and stuff like that look tiny. Wow, man, this is really, really cool. Okay, I love the way that this map is laid out. If you asked me what my favorite thing about this game was, it would 100% be the map. The map is really sick. Also, let's go race this guy here, or somebody here. Um, oh wait, I think he's coming. Oh, he's got an Audi TT, nice. Okay, we're doing a track race. Oh snap, dude. And like I said, there's seven different race tracks. So once you get bored of a few of them, you have plenty, plenty to go through. So I could spend all day doing a video on this, but let's see how this goes. Let's see how the racing is in this game. Oh wow, okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going now, boys. All right, so we're gonna go like this. Oh, oh, snap, what? Okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, can I reset? Is that a thing in this game? Do I have to hold R or something? I think I might have made a big mistake. I don't think in this game, once you uh, miss something, you can go back to it. At least it doesn't tell you a way to do that. So, how do I, how do I leave this race now, actually? Okay, this is a little bit weird. I don't know if there's a way to actually leave the race now even though I, I sort of disqualified myself, didn't I? Like, am I just expected to kind of fix my own problem here? This is weird, because now I don't know how to leave this race. Um, uh, what if I get out of my car? Oh, I can't even get out of my car anymore. Okay, this might be a little bit of an issue. I think they should definitely have a way to reset yourself to go back to your previous checkpoint, because I feel like I... Oh, he didn't finish. <laughs> Neither of us finished that race. Okay, uh, maybe that's a bit of a problem. Okay, one thing that's really cool though about this game, everything seems to be destructible. Look at this. We can go in here and I can just go smashing things up. Look at that. I'm sort of just spending the time on this video just driving around finding what I can break because it looks like almost everything is destructible. Look at this. Like, look at this. See these mailboxes right here? They're gone. <laughs> like, you can go around just literally destroying everything if you want to. I have to say, that's actually one of my favorite things like you can literally destroy almost anything that is uh that's not in other games that's for sure that is definitely not in other games i'm sure if you wanted to there's probably a lot of opportunity for role playing too so if that was something that you're interested in i mean the map is huge and a lot of these areas are actually accessible so if you want to do role plays and stuff i think you have plenty of opportunity to in driving simulator all right some people are joining this race i think only two people can race at a time i don't know what happens when there's three out of two let's find out maybe Maybe it'll allow four people to race. I, I don't know. Maybe two is just the minimum requirement. 
Oh, ser oh, nice, dude, yeah, there is multiple more. So you can have like up to four people, uh, but the race will initiate with just two as well. So that's pretty nice. Um, okay, there's a little bit of lag. I don't know on what end this is. It could very well just be related to like my internet connection, but there is a tad bit of lag. As you may have noticed, the arrows point in the direction of the next checkpoint, which is actually super helpful. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and complete this race. Wow, this is actually really smooth though. Oh no, okay, we're good, we're good. You ever get to that point where you're just like so impressed by something that you don't actually know what to say about it because you feel like what you say probably won't cover it all? I feel like that. Like, I feel like I can't actually express the way I feel about this, but this is really, really well made. And there we go, third place, a very, very clean layout. We get a reward for it as well. Uh, that's awesome. I think what would be cool too is a little tracker that tells you how many races you've won and what positions you've won them in because right now it's pretty simplistic as far as stats go. It's literally just miles driven and money that you have. So as far as like improvements go, there isn't many to be made, but I think there are a couple crucial ones like tutorials and resetting at checkpoints during races and possibly showing off more statistics. Other than that, this game is freaking awesome and I recommend that you guys all try it out. And of course, as usual, I will leave the link down below in the description. Try this game out for yourselves, guys. Driving Simulator is free, now in beta, and I highly recommend you try it. A lot of people are playing it and enjoying it, and I think you should be one of them. That's all I have for you guys today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next Driving Simulator video.